All right, everyone. So today I wanted to share with you guys a trick that is going to save you a decent chunk of gold. But I think up until this point in the game, a lot of people would even say that this was not a very good idea. And I actually agree. But we're kind of at the point in the game now where we're pretty far along. We just got the half anniversary banner, Lost Vay Meliodas. The game has been going for six months now. And there's a lot of mid to end game players who don't really spend a whole lot of their time and effort leveling up units. And this is going to be a trick that is going to save you a lot of gold with a resource that you might not necessarily use as much anymore. Now I will say though that if you guys are still a newer player and you feel like you spend a lot of your time and resources leveling up units, then this is something that you might not want to do quite yet. Now what am I talking about? Well I am talking about experience potions. And something else that I've noticed, especially with the half anniversary event going on right now, is that the three star version of these right uh, here, below my chalices and my materials, you actually end up getting a lot of these as drops. And if you go to the uh, Awakened Lily event and you actually take a look at the drop table, you'll see that they are indeed one of the common drops from farming this. So uh, you get a lot of these. And you just don't really use a whole lot of experience potions anymore once you end up getting to a certain stage in the game. You know, sure, you still will be limit breaking some units here and there, but the amount of them that you end up getting versus the amount of them that you use... That's really the important thing. You just get way more of them than you use. And I noticed that when I'm leveling up units, I have all these three-star potions. And let me just go to an example unit right here so you guys can see. And I know this guy, Kane, I am actually leveling up right here. It gets really expensive. Like, if I were to use a three-star potion, 4,200 gold is what it costs. But the thing is, the amount of gold that you actually use when leveling up, it doesn't go up with the star level of the potion. It's still going to be the same. It's always that same amount of gold per potion use, regardless of the star. Now, the gold does go up as the level of the unit goes up, but it doesn't matter what quality potion that you're using. Now, the thing is, is that these three-star potions only end up giving you a base of 6,000 experience. So you're going to end up getting 6,000 experience by spending 4,200 gold on this potion. Obviously, with the higher star potions, they end up giving you more experience. And I know the four-star potions end up giving you a base of 15,000 experience. So you end up leveling up your unit more and getting it closer to max, but you still end up spending... Uh, the same amount of gold. So in essence, what I'm trying to say here is by using the higher star potions, you end up getting your unit to the maximum level by spending less gold because all potions use the same amount of gold each use regardless. So what is this really all leading up to here? Well, it's leading up to an option that you actually have available at King here where you can combine your potions. Now, the thing is, though, a lot of people really looked down upon this up until this point in the game because the uh, ratio that you trade items up is 6 to 1. And I want to break down some numbers here so you guys can get a better understanding of this. So, a 3-star experience potion ends up giving you 6,000 base experience, and a 4-star experience potion ends up giving you 15,000 base experience. But the thing is, though, if you want to end up combining your potions you have to end up spending six three-star potions in order to end up getting one four-star potion. But four-star potions don't give anywhere even close to six times the experience as a three-star potion. They only give about two and a half times the experience. So you lose, essentially, you lose three plus three-star potions worth of experience by combining, right? So getting back to this right here, combining six three-star potions to one four-star potion Essentially, you are spending 36,000 experience worth of potions for one potion in a turn that only ends up giving you 15,000 experience. So basically, when you end up doing this, you are wasting 21,000 experience worth of potions. And this is why I said as an earlier player, if you guys are still leveling up a lot of units, if you don't really have a lot of experience potions, this is absolutely something that you do not want to do because you lose a ton of experience doing this. The thing is, though, once you get to a point in the game like where I'm at and probably where a lot of other people are at, you just have so many experience potions and the amount of units that you are leveling up, um, it's not nearly as much as the amount of potions that I get. I'm just flooded with these potions, not enough units to level up. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to look at ways of saving gold because gold is always a resource that I can use, whereas I'm really limited to how much I can use experience potions. So what you can end up doing is then combining your lower star potions, and that's what's going to end up saving you gold. So there's an advantage and there's a disadvantage. What happens now is you end up using one 
four star potion for the same amount of experience, 15,000, as would normally take you two and a half potions by using three star ones. Now, what that means is that you're only using one potion worth of gold when leveling up a unit compared to two and a half potions. So, you know, just looking at my cane, for example, here, uh, that was 4,000 plus gold per potion. So I'm going to get the same amount of experience if I use one four star potion versus two and a half three star potions. But now I'm spending 4,000 gold versus 10,000 gold. So I'm saving a lot of gold by doing this, but I'm giving up a bunch of experience because the uh, conversion rate at King is not really the best. So this is why it really looks for newer players like just an absolute waste. But, you know, as an endgame player, this is definitely worth looking at to save the gold. So you save about one and a half experience potions worth of gold when leveling up units. And just so you guys can end up getting the final breakdown right here. This is a trade-off, you know, this is not like easy uh, free gold with absolutely no downside at all. It's really about looking at what is more important to you. That's the number one question when it comes to doing this. Do you need experience potions more uh, or is gold going to be more valuable to your account? And I'll say it again that as an end game player, you just get so many experience potions that you don't end up using them all. And gold is always, always, always something that you can use more of. Even if you're not leveling up units and working on them directly, you can always end up spending it on the gear gacha for 200,000 gold to pull and end up getting resources that you're always going to need more of in order to improve an end game account like hammers and anvils. So gold always has a place in this game, whereas excess experience potions do not. So the trade-off is you lose 21,000 experience worth of potions, but the gain is that you gain one and a half potions worth of saved gold. And for my cane, looking at it once again as an example, you know, that's around five to 6,000 gold that I end up saving by doing this. So early, early game players, if you have lots of units to level up and you are low on experience potions and you find yourself needing more of them, this is not going to be worth doing and I would hold off until you're at a later point in the game. However, mid to end game players, people who have um, accounts where you've gotten a lot of your box worked on, your units are UR, a lot of them are level 60 already, and you're just working on limit breaking and that sort of stuff, uh, this absolutely is worth it, especially if you just have a ton of experience potions flooded on your account so that you can end up saving on gold. So anyway, I really wanted to break this down in the video here because um, I know that earlier on, many months ago, people talked about this and the topic was this is absolutely not worth doing. But now that we're at a different point in the game, I felt like this was worth visiting again to kind of show the other side of the scale where for endgame players, it actually is going to be worth doing. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to toss a quick like as well. It really does mean more than you can imagine. So thank you so much to all of you guys who decide to do that. And more Grand Cross Global videos should be popping up on the screen right about now or in the suggested videos to your right or below. Over 150 guides, tutorials, and fun videos just like this on the channel. Feel free to check them out. But if not, until next time, have a fantastic day, everyone. Take care at this Assault of the Salty Guild. Signing out.